Hello, I'm Gregory Sale, and I'm an advocate for justice reform and successful reentry after incarceration. I began this work um, over 10 years ago in response to the heavy-handed justice and media stunts of Arizona Sheriff Joe Arpaio. These long-term projects um, invite disparate constituencies to engage in dialogue and creative process. When participants in my projects began completing their prison sentences, I witnessed firsthand the daunting task of finding a job or a place to live. Their challenges and their desire not to return to the system has become the focus of my work. Um, listen to a participant's story. Play, please. I'm Sue Ellen and I served seven years at Perryville for a securities fraud crime. And this is my family. When I had breast cancer in Sheriff Joe's jail, the drug addicts, the prostitutes, and the thieves looked after me. We've all worn those black and white stripes. Did you see how when they started putting those shackles back on, how their faces changed and they became faceless again? We're not faceless and not voiceless. I found my passion in prison. And now I run a nonprofit agency called Gina's Team. We create educational programs back into the prisons, and we have a welcome home program to be good with them when they get out, and then for them to help them. After the guests settle into their seats, the room darkens. The screen lights up with the image of a hand painting black stripes on a white wall. Inmates are painting the walls of the museum in their own likeness. Five minutes into the film, a young man in jeans and a t-shirt stands up. He makes his way towards the aisle. He takes a seat in a row of chairs reserved for honored guests. What the audience didn't initially know was that the same individuals who were in the film as inmates were sitting next to them as free citizens. This um, breakdown um, in sort of social barriers, um, this framing, this framing supported a breakdown in social barriers that gave way to a meaningful conversation. America is starting to wake up to how broken the criminal justice system is. President Obama and even conservatives are now leading the charge. Here we have juxtaposing headlines from Arizona and California. In California, the emergence of a reform effort is being enacted by voters and legislators, which in turn gives hope to those inside the system. While I continue to work in Arizona, last year I became an embedded artist with the Los Angeles-based Anti-Recidivism Coalition, also known as ARC. Um, I invited ARC members to participate in an ongoing restorative justice project that involved voices less heard in the community writing about love as a social political campaign. Um, ARC was founded by successful Hollywood producer Scott Butnick and works to help young adults get a fresh start. Um, its members are committed to positive change in their lives. Uh, at 15, Dominic was sentenced to 35 years. He participated in a project I co-created for a conference in Pennsylvania. Can you play that, please? One of the senators that, I, uh, some people in the center that I spoke to they didn't have a lot of time. They, they were super busy. So I said, listen, you don't have a lot of time. I'm not going to waste your time by trying to talk your ear off. I just want to show you something. And I literally did. I gave them this card, which is my old prison ID. I showed it to him. He looked at it for a second. Then I went in my other pocket. And I took you out. And I showed him this college ID. And I said, that is the difference, son. That is the difference. And he said, enough said. And he was like, honestly, speechless for a few seconds. The members share their turnaround stories with legislators to convince them that rehabilitation is possible, leading to laws for more humane sentencing for juveniles and restored budgets for prison college programs. As we reform the criminal justice system, more and more inmates will be released. ARC members and I are currently developing an arts-based public service campaign focused on raising awareness and support of returning citizens, changing the way their story is framed, exploring creative process, reimagining themselves, their positions in society and society's response to them, and moving beyond the paradigm of inside and outside. 
as events or posters, our public service campaign will be available to individuals on the inside that need positive role models and on the outside to influence, question, and shift public perceptions. So my ask, um, we need, we are, well, we are looking for cultural venues who can donate workshop and performance space. We also need um, media ad agencies and rebranding specialists to contribute their expertise and engage in our process. Thank you, Creative Capital and Ruby, Art Matters and SPART. I also need to thank everyone who took the risk of being involved in these projects uh, without their trust and willingness to allow their images and words to appear in these contexts, um, the social impact of this work would not be possible. Thank you.